5 Top Rated Attractions and Places to Visit in Utah Utah is one of the nation's great outdoor states, with fabulous ski resorts, incredible national and state parks, and natural wonders, like you won't find anywhere else in the world. A road trip through Utah is one of the best ways to see the sights, and scenic drives are everywhere throughout the state. For cultural highlights or nearby skiing, head to Salt Lake City. If you're looking for outdoor adventures from hiking, mountain biking, and camping to ATV motorcycle riding and off-road pursuits, be sure to check out Mobe and St. George. You'll even find lakes in Utah where you can bask on a beach or enjoy a boat ride. Keep in mind, Utah's elevation varies considerably, and while it's hot and sunny in some areas, it may be snowing in others. Some parks have only limited accessibility in winter, and some towns almost shut down during the season. But most of the best places to visit are open year-round. For more ideas, see our video to the top attractions in Utah. Number 5. Bryce Canyon National Park The brightly colored and tightly packed hoodoos that dominate the landscape at Bryce Canyon are what set this national park apart from the rest of the spectacular sites in Utah. Stone pillars, glowing in shades of orange, pink cream, and cinnamon, jut up from the floor of a huge natural amphitheater creating a magical landscape that almost begs to be explored. A scenic drive runs through the park and provides numerous lookouts all along the canyon. However, it's worth venturing down into the forest of hoodoos on one of the numerous hiking trails in the park to fully appreciate the size and unique shapes of these formations. Bristlecone pine trees are another surprise attraction found in Bryce. Bryce Canyon National Park is located at an elevation of 8,000 to over 9,000 feet and receives snowfall during the winter months and into spring. Temperatures up here, even in summer, can be cool to very cold. The best time to visit is from April to October, particularly if you are planning on staying at one of the campgrounds in the area. Number 4. Canyonlands National Park Canyonlands National Park is Utah's version of the Grand Canyon. Without the crowds, the park has three sections, but the main portion, which attracts the majority of sightseers, is island in the sky. This area offers incredible vistas looking out over carved canyons and beyond to the snow-capped mountains. It is arguably as impressive as the Grand Canyon in its own unique way, and far less visited. One of the main attractions in island in the sky is Mesa Arch. This beautiful stone arch, particularly stunning in the early morning hours or late afternoon, forms a window to the canyons buttes, and torn landscape below. Also of note in this section is the White Rim Road, which runs down from the park to the valley below, following a dirt road of switchbacks along sheer cliff walls. This road is only for the brave. Visitors can catch a glimpse of the White Rim Road, across the road from the Island in the Sky Visitors Center. Canyonlands Island in the Sky section is located not far from the town of Mobe. The main access point is reached by heading north along Highway 191. Beyond Arches National Park, the Needles District is located in the opposite direction, off Highway 191 heading south from Mobe, and takes about two hours to reach. The other two sections of the park, the Needles District and the Maze, offer a slightly different type of landscape, but are also impressive. These areas are more remote. The Needles area is one of the best places for hiking in the park, and the Maze is a popular place for 4x4 road trips. Number 3. Monument Valley Like a scene from an old western film, red rock buttes rise up from the orange desert floor, and occasionally a horse and rider even wanders by. This is Monument Valley Navajo Tribal Park, located on the Navajo Indian Reservation on the Utah-Arizona border. Numerous films and commercials have been shot in this scenic area which is famous for its spectacular red mesas and stone pinnacles. Within the park is Valley Drive, a one-way, 17-mile, self-drive dirt road running between the buttes and through the dramatic landscape. Pullouts all along the route offer great opportunities for photography and soaking up the scenery. If you want to go beyond this one road to explore the park more fully, you must use a guide, which can be arranged at the visitor center. If you don't have time for the drive, which is usually done at a snail's pace due to the curves and sightseeing stops. The view from the Monument Valley Visitor Center is spectacular and one of the best viewpoints in Monument Valley. Number 2. Arches National Park Stunning stone arches and rolling petrified dunes 
backed by the often snow-capped peaks of the LaSalle Mountains, make this one of the most scenic parks in Utah. Arches National Park is home to more than 2,000 natural stone arches. The most famous of these, and the most photographed, is Delicate Arch, standing like a horseshoe jutting out of the ground framing the distant mountains. Numerous walking trails and hikes lead to the most popular arches and other interesting rock formations. But many of the main highlights can be seen right from the scenic drives through the park and easily accessed from the parking areas. The best places to visit in the park are Devil's Garden, Delicate Arch, Fiery Furnace, Double Arch, Park Avenue, Balanced Rock, The Windows, Broken Arch, and Sandstone Arch. Arches National Park is located just outside Mobe, a town well known by mountain bikers and outdoor adventurers. The park is considerably higher than the town, and reached via a winding road with impressive views. You'll find several other scenic parks in the vicinity and a variety of good campgrounds in the area. Number 1. Zion National Park. Zion National Park. Less than a three-hour drive from Las Vegas features some of Utah's most outstanding scenery. Red rock cliffs, waterfalls, and stunning vistas are some of the key attractions. Many of the park's most impressive sites are found in Zion Canyon, along the Zion Canyon Scenic Drive which follows the valley floor. From spring until fall, a sightseeing bus takes visitors through the park along this route, stopping at all the major sites and trailheads. This makes touring the park very simple. In winter, you can drive this route in your own vehicle. The Zion Mount Carmel Highway runs east-west through the park and is also a must-do drive. This self-drive route takes you high above the valley and offers incredible views from the lookouts. Sometimes referred to as a vertical park due to its sheer vertical walls, Zion is a hiker's paradise. The most popular hikes in Zion are accessed off the Zion Canyon Scenic Drive and the Zion Mount Carmel Highway. Here, you'll find everything from simple walks along the valley floor to cliffside trails, like the famous Angels Landing Trail, which is not for the faint of heart or anyone with a fear of heights. If you are here to truly experience the outdoors, you'll find quality campgrounds and RV parks in and near Zion National Park. Subscribe to our channel for more similar videos.